In this video, we want to see whether the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of n over n plus 1 all raised to the n squared power converges or diverges. In order to do this, we're going to use a root test. And the first thing to do with the root test is take the nth root and then find the limit as n approaches infinity. First, I'm going to take the nth root and rewrite it using algebra and then evaluate the limit. So we're going to take the whole expression inside the sum, take the nth root, and with the nth root we have an exponent and an, uh, another exponent. So whenever you have two exponents like this, you multiply them. So n squared times 1 over n is just n. And the next step, I know that e to the natural log of x is equal to x. But I'm going to replace x with n over n plus 1 raised to the n power. So now this is equivalent to saying e to the natural log of n over n plus 1 all raised to the n power. Now the natural log brings the exponent in front, so the n over here is coming out to the front. So we have e raised to the n times natural log of n over n plus 1. And the next step I'm going to do is rewrite n as 1 over the reciprocal of n. So it's 1 over 1 over n is equal to n. And finally, we're going to take a limit as n approaches infinity. So the purpose of all these steps was to get basically 0 over 0, to use L'Hopital's rule. And now if I take the limit as n approaches infinity, I have e to the 0 over 0. But first, uh, I guess I should, the limit should go to the exponent. Right. So the limit of e is e to the limit. And now this will just equal e to the 0 over 0, which this is an indeterminate form, which means you have to take the derivative of the top and the derivative of the bottom using L'Hopital's rule. So if we take the derivative of natural log of n, over n plus 1, we do get 1 over n times n plus 1. Now I want to show you a very nice way to take the derivative of that. Uh, first, I'm just going to use algebra and just rewrite this as natural log of n minus natural log of n plus 1. So this is just a property of natural logs. And then now we can take the derivative. So the derivative of natural log of n is 1 over n. Derivative of natural log of n plus 1 is 1 over n plus 1. Now, this fraction I'm going to multiply by n plus 1 over n plus 1. This fraction I'm going to multiply by n over n. You have n plus 1 minus n over n times n plus 1 in the denominator. n's will cancel and we get 1 over n times n plus 1. Okay, that's what we have over here. The derivative of 1 over n is negative 1 over n squared. So now I can bring this n squared at the top because whenever you divide by negative 1 over n squared, that's the same thing as multiplying by negative n squared. So that comes at the top. So basically another way, a quick way of saying it is these two will multiply at the top and then these will multiply in the bottom. And now if you take n approaching infinity, this should go to negative 1 because well, negative n squared over n times n plus 1 is the same thing as negative n squared over n squared plus n. That multiply everything by 1 over n squared. We get negative 1 over 1 plus 1 over n. And so this goes to 0, which means we have negative 1. That's going to be the exponent now. And because this is less than 1, the series converges by the root test.